I am so excited to share with you my first ever ebook. That's right, this college dropout wrote an ebook. <laughs> A Guide to Opera Warm-Ups by Lucas Meacham. And I can't tell you how much work and effort have gone into this. I wrote this ebook due to the overwhelming support and questions and amazing comments that I got from posting on YouTube my opera warm-up video on the real-life opera warm-ups that I actually do before every performance of mine, every time I have to be talented. It's an ebook and it's very easily accessible online. You can go there, you can buy it. It's $19.99. What it's for, it's for consistency in opera. Without a true opera warm-up routine, you can wake up. We all know how we wake up. Some days we feel great, some days we feel not so great, and some days we're in the basement vocally. And why? Who the heck knows? But what this gives you is a consistent warm-up routine that you can do every day for the rest of your life so that you can take from what you have already experienced for the years, at this point, years for me of doing this exact same warm up and say, ah, I need to do this. Oh, I need to work on this. Oh, I need to warm up this part of my voice, this part of my, my, my placement, this part of my palette. Whatever it is, you know what you need to do because you've done it so many times before. This book normalizes what warm-ups are. It says that this is my normal, this is my baseline, and whenever you're off of that, depending on how you wake up in the morning or like if you've had something that, you know, makes your throat feel a little scratchy, this is the way to get through it. Consistent warm-up routine. I have been working on this project for over a year and this has been a true passion project of mine and I'm so happy to finally bring it from me to you. I hope you enjoy it. A vocal warm-up routine is very similar to a physical warm-up routine before you do a sport or an activity or a workout. You wouldn't just go into a gym and put 400 pounds on the bar and just get to work. You would stretch it out and this is exactly what we do in this ebook. Life as an opera singer is all about multitasking. We're on the road, we're doing multiple things at a time. Right now I've got a thousand balls in the air that I'm waiting to drop. And because of that, I wanted this ebook to be as easily accessible and referenceable <laughs> as possible. These warm-ups are for any singer that's looking to develop a consistency of their sound, any singer that might be having trouble with the placement of their sound, and any singer that might end their sessions with their teachers a little bit hoarse. Because a lot of times it's not the teacher that it, in the session that makes you hoarse, it's the fact that you weren't prepared and ready to begin the session in the first place. It's also for anyone who's having questions about their vocal identity. With this sort of warm-up, I give you the foundation to day in, day out, wake up, do the same routine every day, and you will be amazed how much you discover not only about your voice, but about yourself as you move through this routine day to day, week to week, month to month, and year to year. As artists, we all know, we spend most of our time in the practice room a lot more time on the practice room than on stage. And so when we get to the stage, we don't want to be second guessing ourselves. We want everything to be absolutely concrete, solid. Great foundation already built. Thank you so much for all of your comments, questions, and everything, every bit of support you've given me. And because of that, I actually wanted to start by sharing some of the ebook itself with you. I just wanted to show you some of the highlights of the ebook so you know what to expect. All right, I just want to make sure you can see that. Yep, looking good. Page one, what a handsome fellow. Here is my, here is my broken iPad. <laughs> this here is my singing philosophy. When I was a student, I would do warm-ups simply because my teacher told me, Lucas, do these warm-ups. I never understood why I did those warm-ups. Like, what does that particular warm-up, what does a lick drill do for you? What does singing on an ah do for you? What does sticking out your tongue at the end of an exercise do for you? This is the answer to all those questions. I explain all of this and more from a very technical standpoint to help you understand. The real key here is to understand why we do these warm-ups. More about this warm-up. For ease of use, I break the warm-up processes into three stages. The first one is about breath support, the second one is about placement, and the third is resonance. Once you reach the end of your warm-up session, you'll have warmed up each of these spaces individually and you'll begin to combine those spaces together to make the perfect bowl of chili in your mouth. <laughs> All right, this page, I love this page because we talk about what we like about ourselves and our voices, which is so important for a singer's psyche to know that we're good at what we do. In addition to that, we are currently working on other things. I'm still working on things on my voice. So it's not, I mean, we, this is not a destination. This is a lifetime mantra that you must adapt of working hard, warming up, and learning to enjoy the process. It's a never ending process. Can we talk about the fact that I've been one hand palming this iPad this whole time? Because that's pretty awesome. And it's an iPad Pro. Okay, a practice log. Here's a practice log. <laughs> Get to practicing.
This is very important for tracking your progress because you want to know what you did last week that you were having trouble with because this week it might be easier. It also might be harder. Why is important and that's what this log is going to help you figure out. With a practice log it's important that we're honest with ourselves because good singing is honest singing. That's right, lip trills are still life and that's what I start with in this warm-up process. You'll see we have the warm-ups right here and they're written out for every Fock. You've got sopranos, mezzos, tenors, basses, contraltos. I actually dictated these. Dictated? No. Transcribed? Which one is it? Okay, so I actually <laughs> wrote these out from the YouTube video so that you'll have it right here and you can play along on the piano with yourself or the guitar or the recorder. So let's say I'm a soprano. I would go here and begin this in the key of E major starting on G sharp. Same thing for the baritones here beginning in D major, beginning on F sharp and so forth and so on. And then I go into extreme detail on why we're doing this warm up, things to think about while doing this warm up, spaces to make, vowels to sing on inside of a lip trill. Did you know that in a lip trill you should be singing on the vowel E and not O uh, and therefore you have to make this, that, vo that mouth shape inside of your mouth even when you're doing a lip trill you have to think about these things. The details are astounding. So what makes this ebook even more valuable is right here, bonus material. These here can be a lifesaver. We all know what it's like to sing in the morning. It's not easy or good for any of us. And here are my matinee modifications. And here I have an example of two different types of matinee or morning schedules for when you have to be at your best in the morning or a matinee. We got a 2 p.m. matinee showtime and we got a 10 a.m audition. So that means you have to wake up really early and this gives you the schedule to prepare to be at your best at these early hours. This is my real schedule that I keep when I have to be talented at these early ridiculous hours. This is what not only makes this ebook easy to follow but makes you want to keep coming back day after day. It's an exercise appendix according to voice type. Here is the soprano page with the soprano keys. We've got the mezzo page. We've got the contralto page, the tenor page, the baritone page, and the bass page. All of the exercises that you need to do from day to day are right here. Once you have taken in and comprehended all the things that you need to do to be able to do these warm-ups in the proper way, all you have to do is open the ebook to this page and start your warm-up process. I'll put a link in the caption. It's currently available for $19.99. Everyone, you'd be amazed. I walk into opera houses and people come up and say to me, I use your warm-up routine every day. And so this is for those people and it's also for those who haven't seen it yet. I hope it helps. Let me know if you download it. I'd love to hear any feedback you have. None of this would have been possible without the help of my amazing wife who helped me set this whole thing up and gave me the motivation to even do it in the first place. So Irina Meacham, thank you more than anything for always believing in me. A special thanks also to all of my vocal instructors and teachers throughout the years, especially Marlena Mollis. Marlena, you are my rock. Thank you so much.